this is like where you grew up in Center Point Road, right? Yeah, man. I, I grew up in Hendersonville. I don't know how familiar yeah. you are around Nashville or not, but yeah, like I used to date a girl out past there. Yeah, in Gallatin. So like, yeah. So to like 20 minutes north of Nashville. Uh, I lived there since I was five. I was born in Georgia, but I, my dad signed a record deal in 1995, so that's what kind of moved us to Nashville. And uh, I grew up on Center Point Road. I lived in a neighborhood off of Center Point Road, but that was kind of the centerpiece uh, of, of where I drove every day to my best friend's house, to school, to football practice, everywhere. Um, and I think when you spend that much time kind of in this on the same street, same neighborhood, there's just your whole life is kind of made there. You know what I mean? Like all the experiences that you felt um, kind of shape you into the person that you are today and um, and all the lessons that you learn. And so when, when we were putting this record out, coming up with like how we wanted to involve our fans, it was just like, well, yeah, I grew up on Center Point Road, but everybody had their spot that they were just like, man, if I think back to myself at 14 or 15, yeah. I put myself on the lake in Wisconsin, or I put myself on the beach in San Diego or a little restaurant that you and your friends would meet at after school or whatever. And so I think everybody has their own version of a center point road. And it's been really cool to kind of get our fans to, you know, send us those experiences, send us pictures of them as, as younger or at, at present and decide like, this is where I'm at now, or that's where I was then. And, and uh, it's been really cool to get them engaged like that. And I had, in my neighborhood, there was like the house that everybody went to. Yeah. It was the Meads. It was Deanne Mead. Me yeah, so you know. Yeah. That's exactly right. She had a trampoline. So like on Center Point Road, what was the house that like all the kids in the neighborhood ended up at or in the backyard or whatever? Man, I, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy to say this, but my, my wife's, now my wife, then my 16-year-old girlfriend, um, it, was, it was her parents' house. Like everybody after football games or after football practice or after school, we would all go over to Lauren's house um, just because... she have a pool or a pool table? Nothing, or dude. It, literally, her parents still live there and it's about a 1,500 square foot house and we would have like 80 people over there for Christmas parties and whatever. And so Dang. I think it was just more of the vibe than it was like how amazing the location was. So. I almost got nervous to ask you because I know like part of this, you were talking about like well, Centerpoint Road is the, the firsts. And, and I feel yeah. like we talk every once in a while and like you're always awesome with like parenting advice and like cool like life <laughs> try advice. To be. So I try to respect that. But I also know that Lauren is like, like you said, she's been your girlfriend since you guys were in high school. Well, sort of. I mean, we dated in high Ish. school and then, and then broke up, up for a long time, but, but always kind of remained really, really close. Was um, she your first kiss though? No. Oh, really? Can my you tell me? My first, was first kiss, kiss was uh, fifth grade on Valentine's day. Jenny Roden uh, handed me a Valentine and kissed me on the cheek. That was, that was my first First is that funny ever. you remember that? It is, man. I don't think you ever forget anything that ever happened for the first time. It was kindergarten time. for me. I remember. I still remember Jamie That's Hartman. young, dude. You got started young. Wow. I was cuter when I was a kid. <laughs> it was like all the ladies then, and then like third yeah. grade hit, and it was awkward.